Hey guys, I'm Patricia and I've got Isaac here with me today. We are in District 16 itself, specifically at Urban Vista. I'm about to go crazy. We've got a really efficient 3 meter unit standing at a size of 797 square feet. Asking at $1.388 million, it is a good entry price point for a 3 meter unit in this area. Not only are we walking distance from Tanah Merah MRT Station, we have plenty of transformation in this area. And we can't wait to show you more. Let's go! Let's go! Welcome to our very beautiful renovated unit here in Urban Vista. 3 bed, 2 bath, very efficient, dumbbell layout kind of a unit. Size at 797 square feet. We are right here at District 16 at the Tanah Merah area. Developed by Bayfront Realty Private Limited. TOP in 2016, 99 years from 2012. There are 7 14 storey blocks, 582 units and it is a mixture of 1 to 4 bedders. So I think because we are in a 3 bedder unit right, we need to look at specifically the 3 bedder configuration. There yes. are a total of 100 and 160 units here, there are 3 bedders, but only a handful are very efficient layout units mm. and ours is one of them. So I think when we talk about efficient layout, what we want to emphasize is really that within the development, we're only looking at about 34 units out of 160 3 bedder units. Yes. So that's about 21%. Ours with the efficient layout means that we not only do we have a 3 bed 2 bath, we have a really good sized balcony space that is just outside your living room area. start off with the dining space since we are here in this area. So I think the dining area itself, we are seeing like a table that can sit about like four and if you pull it out a little mm. bit, maybe it can up to even six packs. And I think we do have a good size deal over here. Yes. So right now, what kind of layout is that we have the sofa and the TV. The owners have actually meticulously added more storage over here. So you have storage area all around and they are very thoughtfully well designed. So if you do not like this kind of layout, what you can do is that you can have a sofa over here and then we can have a full cabinetry from the balcony all the way to this area. We can have a pull-out table, TV can be over here. So what we are doing here is to maximize the cabinetry and maximize the storage area as well. And I think one of the plus points about this home is of course the 3 meter ceiling high and that is all around the entire home. As we progress into the living room area, you also notice there's a lot of light coming through. What you get is really this good view that stretches all the way towards the Seneca and even towards the expo area. I think specifically for the living room, we do have a very good width. So even with 3 seater sofa set right here, I think you still have a good distance to the TV itself. So adding on to that, the balcony has a very good depth. If you if you want to add your alfresco dining into the balcony, you can do that, just add zip track, you can have an outdoor dining while enjoying the beautiful view. And I think if you do shift the dining area all the way outwards, you will have plenty of space there which also gives you more room to get a much larger sofa set as well. Now we'll bring you to the balcony. I mean, we talk about efficiency in terms of layout, right? Really a good size space. They do have a drainage point here and a water point as well, which actually nowadays is very rare to find water point in balconies already. That's right. So this is a great plus point. I mean, especially if you are somebody who likes gardening. Isaac, share a bit more on the view. So what we're overlooking here is the facilities of the development itself. We do have a swimming pool on the ground floor and we also have it on the fourth floor above the multi-story car park. There is a clubhouse and a gym as well. Talking about facilities, I think not only do we have, you know, the standard pool and gym, we also have plenty of outdoor dining space all around the development, barbecue spots as well. We yes. also do have tennis court right beside us and also kids play area. So I think this condo itself, the facilities are all very well provided. And I think in terms of the view, right, not only do we overlook towards our facilities. We've also got the pool view of Seneca Residences once it's ready. And then after Seneca Residences, actually we do have the pocket landed view. We also don't have direct neighbours looking at us. Yes. Having these blocks right next to us is advantageous because we are right next to Tanah Merah MRT station. It blocks out most of the MRT track sound. In terms of the connection from the MRT station, we are one stop away from the Bedok Mall and East Point Mall. And in the opposite direction, two stops away from the Changi Airport and Jewel Changi. We are also three stops away from Pasir Ris. So what we do know about 
Pasir Ris is that there is an upcoming cross-island line that brings further connectivity to Pongo, Serangoon and Amokyo. We are also within a 10 to 15 minutes walk from Simpang Bedok, Bedok Marketplace and East Village, 58 Bedok Market with tons of HDB shop houses. And within a 10 minute drive, there is the Katong East Coast Park for recreation. And if you want to connect to CBD, Orchard, Sentosa, we are about 16 to 18 minutes drive away. So within one kilometers, these are the primary schools that are around, specifically for Temasek Primary school only half of urban vista is within one kilometer and ours is in that category. But on top of that, one of the big things that's happening in Singapore would be the new Changi Terminal 5. And globally, that will be one of the largest airport terminals. That will also mean that in future, we are expecting maybe higher demand in terms of, you know, people looking for properties in this area. And the good thing is that Urban Vista itself, we are right at the Tanamera MRT station, which is so close to the Changi station itself. Now, I'll let Isaac bring you into the bedrooms and he'll show you more on the configuration. Give me the ball for the last shot. I'ma get the dub. Give me the mic for the beat drop. Before we move into the bedroom, we definitely need to talk about the floor plan. So looking at the original floor plan, the original entrance of the bedroom has been shifted and the bedroom number two, instead of right next to the kitchen, the doorway has been shifted right next to bedroom number one. And because of that, we do have an extended pantry area. Let's look at bedroom number one. I'm getting it done. So coming into this bedroom number one, you'll notice that there is a lot of natural lighting. That's because of the high ceiling. So although we do not have this full height window, we do have this additional window that allows light to come in. There is a study table. You can make this area into your study. Otherwise, you can fit in a super single or even a queen size bed. Wardrobe has already been provided. The icon is in good condition as well. And right over here, we have this wallpaper by Swedish illustrator Mrs. Miketi. You can either keep it or you can repaint it if you wish to. Coming into this bedroom too, what you'll notice is that we do have this bifold door. And what is special about this bedroom is that we have this loft kind of a concept. You can have a study area or even a play area. And what we can have above, we can fit up to a king size bed. Even for a loft kind of a bedroom, you will notice that there's very good standing room on the lower floor. Let's talk about numbers. Our unit here is asking at $1.388 million. If you're looking at the surrounding three bedders, Optima TOP in 2012, 1173 to 1302 square feet, asking 1.7 million. The Glitz TOP, 2016, 1001 to 1186 square feet, asking 1.79 million to 2.1 million. Eco TOP in 2017, 1077 to 1163 square feet, asking 1.93 million to 1.98 million. The Grandeur Park residence, TOP in 2020, 883 to 1216 square feet asking 1.58 to 2.2 million. If you are looking at Seneca residences, they are likely to TOP in 2026. And when that happens, we we'll likely have more units transacting. And in turn, this will pull our prices up in Urban Vista. And now Pat will show you the master bedroom and the kitchen. Before we bring you to the master bedroom, let's just touch on the common bath as well. Coming in here, you've got your very standard sanitary fittings. We do also have a standing shower here and also a rain shower above. Over on this side, you have your standard sink, your mirror that comes with cabinetry. And of course, if you want to renovate, you can definitely add on more cabinetry space above. So right beside the common bath would then be where the master bedroom is. I make you shake. Before we show you in this area, we will show you the ensuite bath over here. Pretty similar to the common bath, I would say. It comes with a lot more carpentry that's been done up. So this is an example of how you can do up for the common bathroom. In terms of shower area, it's a little bit more spacious compared to the common bath area. So your standing shower and also a rain shower above. And I think what we like would be the windows at the corner that allows ventilation for sure. Moving on to the space within the master bedroom. Of course, the bed isn't here. What you can and see here will be a carpet and this is actually a queen size kind of size so easily you can fit in a queen and I think if you want to the carpentry all this over on the left and right side you can definitely remove all of that and then fit in a king here we cannot emphasize further regarding the amount of light coming in over here we've got four good panels of window that stretches all the way upwards and because of the wall over here we are actually able to also shift the bed 
maybe even all the way in towards here. In fact, if you want to, we can also do it this way, meaning the headboard over here, that's also possible. So room-wise, I think for a 797 square feet master bedroom, very very good size wardrobe similarly very well maintained comes with the ac above as well this is like a sliding door kind of concept we always love sliding door because you know you don't have something that juts out so this is very space saving now let me bring you into the kitchen next Kitchen-wise, we were sharing earlier about some of the layout changes that happened. Previously, bedroom 2, the doorway was around this area. And I think what the owners have done is really brilliant. This will give you more space to have this dry pantry area. And I think just now I was playing around with the cabinetry. They have this bloom system here. So everything is of great quality, very, very functional. And I think they also come with like the soft closing, which we all love. And what is interesting is actually this concept here. So I can't pull it from here is a again tic tac kind of concept so i tap it will open and if i close it i just close and it has a soft closing we love that storage bottom all around all the way above and actually right at this corner is where the dv box is located so neatly tucked at the corner coming towards you know like the foyer and kitchen kitchen is actually right beside the main door itself. Before coming into this kitchen, we do have some storage space here. You can put in some of your shoes and accessories. Now they know what got hard. Come in and conquer, yep, I'm the bomb. Coming into the full kitchen space here, I must say that the house is very well renovated. It's very classy. Color-wise also, is very, very palatable. Very easy to maintain. For the kitchen itself, it comes with this induction Bosch hot system. The hood is above. And of course, the oven right below, this is actually from the brand Tikka itself. Sink over on this side, we do have this space here that you can actually cater up to even a double door fridge. This actually is pretty much the size of a single door. Fridge. But of course, keeping in mind that you also do need to cater for your washer and dryer. With this size fridge, your washer and dryer can be parked over here. Otherwise, if you do have a larger fridge, you can definitely bring your washer and dryer into the balcony because we do have the drainage point as well as the water point right there. Right behind me will be the bomb shelter, pretty standard in terms of size as well. Before we end today's home tour in this beautifully renovated three bedroom home in Urban Vista, we definitely want to share more with you on the exit strategy. So talking about the exit strategy, we do have a landed area around Urban Vista and that is good for landed downgraders. On top of landed downgraders, we have HDB upgraders around this area. There are a few clusters that are already MOP or will soon to MOP and this will form the new group of buyers in the future. Here at Urban Vista, it is a good option and palatable for these future buyers because we are right next to Tanamira MRT station and this is a good entry quantum. Thank you for staying with us through this entire home tour in this beautifully renovated and well efficient three bedroom unit here in Urban Vista. Our size is 797 square feet asking price at $1.388 million which is an amazing quantum to go into especially if you're somebody looking for a home in District 16 itself. If you like the place, do schedule an appointment with our listing managers, myself and Brian. Our numbers are right below. Do like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are also on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. I'm Isaac. And I'm Patricia. Property Team Brothers, always, always happy, happy to, to show you the place. place. So he's very nervous. And that's why he's very busy <laughs> doing all that. Are you done? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because we are right next to the Tanamira MRT station. the information is there. Let's go! <laughs>